Every man needs a map. Every man needs a map. A map in his heart to ride across the wilderness. That's what his father always said. Gyro Zeppeli's father was summoned by the king's servant once or twice a month. On those mornings, his mother would silently prepare a small meal. The meal consisted of fish, a loaf of bread, and wine. His father would eat before heading to the king's court. At that time, the king's servant would ask, Gyro, how old are you now? Nine years old, sir. But that's all he would ask. Gyro's father was a doctor. He examined both the rich and the poor at his home clinic. Gyro, come here. Come closer. How will you take this steel ball in my hand? Huh? Whoa! That's not right, Gyro. Not by cheating or dirty tricks. I am talking about rotation. How will you take it from my fist using rotation? That's, Im that's impossible, Father. Listen, Gyro. It's fine that you like to ride horses, but you're going to have to learn about the spin of the steel ball. You need to be able to do everything by the time you are 13. Your grandfather taught it to me, just as his father had taught him. Why, father? Why does the steel ball have to do with grandfather and great-grandfather? Because of the men of the Zeppeli family have always done this. And you can surely do it. You may leave now. It's easier to place it in the hand than take it away. Whoa. No way, when did he? Gyro, how old are you now? Thirteen, sir. When Gyro Zeppeli turned thirteen, his father said, Today you will come with me. For some reason, his mother kissed him in silence. He ate the meal she had prepared. A small serving of fish, a loaf of bread, and a glass of wine. The carriage that Gyro and his father rode entered a building with very tall walls on the northwest side of the castle. When they entered, Gyro's, when they entered Gyro's father spoke softly to him. Every man needs a map, a map in his heart, to ride across the wilderness. Listen carefully, you're the eldest son of the Zeppeli house. You need to protect your family. True happiness is found within the family. Protecting your family relates to protecting your country. For your family to fall apart is to scorn your ancestors and future descendants. Never forget that. From this day forward, you will be my assistant. This is the job placed upon us by the former king 380 years ago. It has been the Zeppeli family's duty throughout the years. Continuing on through entire generations of kings, you must approach this duty with honor. Job? Assistant? What are these buildings, father? Officer, please come into the courtyard. He won't stop kicking and screaming. F father what about the priest? Was he not able to calm his heart? He's uncontrollable. There is no peace of heart for him. Gyro, you wait here. Wait for my orders. Stop. No, I'll curse you. I don't want to die. Be still. Silence your heart. Your heart. <laughs> you will sanitize the sword. Your job begins here. This has been the duty of the Zeppeli family for 380 years. As long as a system of execution exists in the Constitution, there is need for somebody to carry them out. In pre-20th century Europe, the position of executioner was a strict occupation controlled by the government. It was passed down by heredity. Therefore, the ones ordered to carry out executions received a high position and a high wage. But from father to son and son to grandson, the responsibility and technique of executioner was passed solely down the family line. Nilami 
してお意味高みを狙らしたいなこの道に Humans can die through only one wound, but the will of life can be surprisingly powerful. It requires a good amount of technique to bring about certain death. Even criminals deserve an honorable death without suffering. An expert is required to execute as swiftly as the blink of an eye. What are vital spots of the body? What areas can be easily cut without the bones interfering? The executioner must know everything about the human body. For the sake of a smooth execution, a second blow was never acceptable. They studied medical science and learned martial arts. To bring bodies to a state of peace and stillness, the Zeppeli family developed the rotation of the steel ball. The steel ball exists for peace, not pain. The technique gradually developed over the course of generations. To carry out executions, this was the duty and destiny of the Zeppeli line. Gyro Zeppeli was to receive his father's position when he turned 25, as the successor. Yes, and everything was going smoothly, until the execution of Marco, the boy who scrubbed shoes at the aristocrat's mansion, was officially decided. There once was a criminal who was missing a bone in his neck. Normally, a person has seven bones in his neck, so this criminal's vital area was different due to the missing bone. Luckily, Gyro's father was skilled enough to notice the difference and deliver a normal swift execution. But this time nobody noticed. This prisoner had joints that bent in the opposite direction. He slipped out of his handcuffs and took one of the prison guards as a hostage. Ah! What? Ha, fools! Don't come near. If I'm gonna be executed anyways, I'll take as many as I can with me. Bring your keys, the keys for this prison. Don't step out of that drain line! I'll kill him without hesitation. Yeah! <laughs> What are you doing? Gah! My shirt! Wah! Now that's the son of Zeppeli. Great work, Gyro. It's twisting me tight. When Gyro Zeppeli came to age as the eldest son of the Zeppeli family, He brought up a complaint against the court's decision of Marco's execution. His father was deeply disappointed and angered. He was approaching old age and had already made up his mind. To retire from his burdensome duty, he had never raised his voice to scold his son before, but in his silent anger, his first words were enough to make Gyro shiver. What you did is useless, Gyro. It will only cause trouble for our country. Our family's duty is not to decide whether someone is innocent or guilty. Father, I only want to complete my duty with consent. There is no consent, Gyro, even towards the worst of criminals. The duty of our family is to carry out the orders of the king. That is all. The law is the law. Don't get involved with the details. This is beyond consent, it is all God's will. That boy will be executed. I will be turning 25 this year, which means I'll be taking your place. Am I to carry out the execution? This discussion is over, Gyro. Never speak of it again. Treason against the government was the worst of all crimes. An assassination plot discovered just in time. It mattered not if someone had only heard of it while shining shoes. 
they kept silent about the plot, they would be guilty, even women and children. It was this era, it was the law of the state. So, Gyro, how old are you now? You always know the answer to that question. What did you call me out here for? Aren't you the one concerned with that boy, Gyro? That boy! I will take the place of my father who has put his pride in the family line. This job is my duty, and that will never change. It hasn't in the past, and it won't change from here on. But I just want consent! My father said not to mention it. I want to make this duty, this pride of my heart. Guilty or innocent, there needs to be consent. Pride and honor cannot exist without consent. I will put my life on the line for pride and honor. Isn't there a way? Not all laws are justice. I cannot agree with putting this boy to death. He had nothing to do with the assassination plot. I need consent, no matter what. You put your life on the line for the boy. Is that what you said? I'm just checking. What? I'm making sure you would be willing to risk your life if the boy could be innocent. What the hell are you saying? Can you do it? Yes, I want to save him. He was only scrubbing shoes. Is it wrong for a person from my family to object? There is one way to reverse the indecision. Say a war breaks out and this country is victorious. The king must release an amnesty that everyone will agree with. An amnesty is an exception where a criminal's penalty is lightened. The king's amnesty? Yes, the king will release one without a doubt. No, what are you saying? There's no war. Where is it? You have the skill of the steel ball, Jairo Zeppeli. For you it's possible. That's why I'm suggesting this. Victory in this race will bring great dignity to a nation. The entire world is watching, and if a winner arises from this nation, people will unite their hearts as one for the king. At this point in the second stage, nobody had come to realize, but the further Gyro Zeppeli advances in the race, and if the race is equivalent to a war of the state, the more relentless and aggressive those opposing the king would become. Congratulations on your very early arrival, sir. This is a town specifically built as a checkpoint in the Steel Ball Run race. We were expecting to hear of the second stage riders arriving tomorrow, but according to our information, you've distanced yourself a day's worth from the group of Sandman and Diego Brando, aka Dio, who took a separate route. We need to check your race number and your horse's nose sprint. I'm not the first place. You are currently 4th place, Mr. Oyakomova. Mr. Mountain Tim arrived first, but Jairo Zeppeli was arguing that he was the next length ahead, and Mr. Johnny Joestar started protesting that he was the one that arrived first. But since this was just a checkpoint and it doesn't affect their racing points, they eventually settled down. Yes? Hmm. Does a phone line or something come through uh, here? There's only the telegram and the postal service. Also, we have tents and hotels with showers for lodging, restaurants and bars, a barber and blacksmith. Huh? Somebody I know? Whoops, I guess not. Why would you come into a stranger's room and go through his stuff? I'm looking for a gyro Zeppeli. Where is he? Looks like we have an idiot who doesn't know how to converse. Don't you know you'll fail that test if you answer a question with a question, loser? He received a, a letter at this checkpoint, Gyro did. There was wax for sealing letters down at the office. Ah, uh, here it is. This must be it. Hey, don't you mess with me! Just like I thought... He had received a letter from the king's servant. I've prepared a zombie horse 50 kilometers north of here in the Red Canyon. The zombie horse has the power to heal fatigue and wounds from the race. It will be of great help to you. Zombie horse? What's that? Oh yes, just a warning. Don't let go of my skin. I'm just going to distance myself a little bit. It's dangerous if you spread your fingers. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. 
Oh, now you've done it. I told you not to spread your fingers after touching my body. I won't allow anyone to race for the king. I will have you dead, Officer Zyro Zeppelia. Summer's will 